Well, from Greenville to Rio, a local pole vaulter is getting ready to compete in the Olympics. And Jennifer Martin caught up with Sandy Morris on Skype. When you make a bar and you've just, and you're going over the bar and you know you've made it, it's just like the best feeling in the world. Ranked the number one pole vaulter in the U.S., Sandy Morris is getting ready to head to Rio for the biggest competition in her life. I'd always dreamed of being an Olympian, but it's kind of one of those things where you have to take it one day at a time. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, the Upstate native showed us what pushes her to keep flying and achieve the impossible. And this is what I just got at uh, the Olympic trials. I mean, this thing's pretty heavy. <laughs> 23 years old, her journey started at Greenville High School, where a coach introduced her to pole vaulting. He went over and told my dad, like, is that your daughter hurdling? Um, she'd probably make a pretty good pole vaulter. Over the next 10 years, she grew to be one of the best pole vaulters in the world. When I'm getting ready for a competition, I do my, my Superman pose. I know it sounds really silly, but it definitely does put me in um, a very uplifting mood. And I know that when I'm out there smiling, I always jump higher than when I'm not smiling. In March, she joined the 16-foot club with a personal best, a 16-foot 3-inch vault. And then the unexpected happened, an injury that threatened it all. The pole was bending more than it was supposed to, so it snaps and I'm, I'm landing on the mat. The first thing I felt was my shoulder was just on fire. After six weeks of rehab, she went to the Olympic trials determined to prove herself. It was kind of tough sitting there with a broken wrist watching people jump ahead of me in the world knowing I can jump a lot higher. Um, but that gave me a lot of motivation to go into the trials and make the team. And then she did it, clearing the trials with a 15 foot 7 inch vault and earning one of three spots to the Olympics. Now with more motivation than ever, she's ready to jump new heights in Rio and tack a new medal on her wall. There is a chance that if I go out there and put up, you know, a 16 foot bar for the second time in my career, that could take home the gold. For Scene on 7, I'm Jennifer Martin.